Hey everybody and welcome back to Dyson with Death. Everything is resolved. Here we are. Um, where did we leave off? What were you saying? Who were you talking to? Uh, I'm in the library getting my ear talked off by this old man. Right, right, right. He was just was talking about... You asked him about gargoyles and he said, Yes, there are creatures made of stone yeah, that yeah. can fly. He and they're tried, dangerous. He did, and then he kind of just... Book on, on stone masonry. Right. Um... Um, I'm pretty thoroughly convinced that this is, yeah, clueless old man, innocent. What could he possibly do? Uh, is I there am, is there something else I could help you with, son? Not today, but I thank you for your your courtesy. I never have I met a more thorough. Librarian, you and I, I drone off as I. You're, you're not Ramdel, are you? You don't look like Ramdel. Does he have a new no. assistant? Carl, Car Carl, I say in his ear. Oh, Carl, Carl, Our Carl from Misty Rapids. Yes, yes, this the Song family. I I recognize those snakes, of course, of course. Um, well, uh, I I can see if we maybe we can find a book on gargoyles that we're still acquiring manuscripts you can see that library's not done yet um i nod yes yes i i don't do the acquisitions myself you see that's not a task for the librarian i oversee oh. the maintenance of the library see to its good health and instruct the pages on proper care and the scribes on the importance of clear writing and good translations so you have an assistant or I have many assistants, yes. Who runs the the front of house? And I like gesture to the shelves around me. Uh, the, the pages see the to the day-to-day -day needs of the library. The, the scribes do translations and copying. Um, so her ladyship herself, well, more like her ladyship's servants, or, or I guess technically her ladyship's slaves, uh, do the actual acquisitions and... And importations. Who decides what they acquire? I, it is not a task for a librarian. Her ladyship and her servants deal with that. Lady Lady Redshield. This is the like. This is like the baroness of the town. No, or is, you have I've not heard the name Lady Redshield. You don't know of the Redshield family. So some noble family lives in, lives in a mansion on these hills or something. Would be my best guess. Sounds about right. So, would you describe this Miss Redshield as perhaps a benefactor? It, this is her library. Her family has come to quite the fortune recently, and part of that has gone to construction and maintenance of this library. She is a wonderful person that has gifted this entire city with, with a library out of her own goodness. She's Lovely lady. Have you met her? I have not. Oh, she's very busy these days. Where busy with what? Where where does she spend her time? You know, I don't seem to recall. I'm very forgetful these days. Sometimes I don't remember things. This guy, It'll happen how, to you too. How old is this guy's body? Like, 80s. Is, okay, somewhere. so he's as old as his mind seems. Okay. In fact, he sounds like he's doing quite well for his age. All right. Well, I, I must get Maybe. back to my translations. Oh, no, I've just finished it. Uh, Rufy? Rufy? Where are you? Ah, yes, Rufy. You must take that book on Namish Illusions to her ladyship so she can send it back to... Oh, where does it need to go? Oh, you've already done it. Oh, okay. Ah, good good job, Rufy. Um... What did, you, what did you say the benefactor's name was? Lady Red... Lady Red Shield. And shield. Yes, yes. Anyway, uh, Ramsel, I, I must get back to my work. Good day. 
Good to see you again. And he yeah. walks off. Yeah, you too. All right. This lady red shield stinks of something. My first instinct was that she may be a arcanist of sorts. Perhaps she I don't know, this 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 librarian seems like quite a mark. He's got he's trafficking all these high value spell books, translating them and very forgetful. So easy to just for him to just misplace a, a book, a tome, and not notice. And there's this lady Red Shield funding the the whole operation. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stroll uphill. Okay. See if I, and see if I can. I guess I could have asked him directly, but maybe I'll find this Red Shield by other means. Are there taverns in the north side of town? What do we call this? There's the hillside. The hillside. And, uh, this is hillside. You're in hillside. Hillside. Yes. Oh, Red Shield Estate. It's marked right there. How convenient. Mm, look at that. It's almost so as if you needed to know that. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, railroaded. Rail I turn around and I walk right back down the hill. <laughs> You see, there was a reason why I didn't set up that map for you ahead of time. I had forgotten why. That was an internal map, not meant for public view. Thank you. <laughs> but I, I'm assuming that I'm wandering up this hill. I mean, I guess yes. I've just the, set the up The Red Shield Estate is not far from the library. Is it, a prom is it like the only estate on the hill? No, no, no. Rolling there are many there estates here. Okay. Many, many estates. Uh, is there even a trail, or is it just like rolling hills and... No, there, there are roads. The city is actually fairly... I don't want to say densely packed, but there's not a lot of open space between the buildings. You know, these estates have gardens, but the gardens are walled, um, and there's not a lot of, like, gaps or open areas around. Uh, you were asking about taverns? There um, is a tavern near the library called the Red Lion. Okay. Um, I, mean, I guess I don't need to go there now, now that I know where the red, the red shield estate is. <laughs> but I, maybe I, I go into the tavern, I buy a drink, and that's how I hear. I, mean, I guess I ask where the red, red shield estate is, and some interchangeable drunkard at the at the bar tells me it's up the hill. <laughs> it's not easy place to find. Uh, more or less, or except instead of an interchangeable drunkard, it's an interchangeable young nobleman. Oh, is that the clientele at this? Yes, the Red Line is very nice. It's okay, so actually, the nicest to, tavern you've been in. Spit on my hair a little extra to, to make it especially <laughs> proper for these. It's the nicest tavern you've been in since you came to Arcadia, and really, yes. Do they have rooms or just uh, just drinks? It's just drinks, but it's very nice. Luckily, all of your money goes into the uh, all your drinks get paid for at the end of the month when we do your monthly expenses. And this is why my monthly expenses are going to be like really high. Fuck them. Yeah. That, that, uh, gems dealer better be able to fetch a nice profit <laughs> for that topaz. Otherwise I'm fucked. Uh, um, yeah. So I, I buy the some fine elven wine. Like I'm probably shocked to find out that they have it. And very nice. I've never wine. even tasted it myself, but I speak elven. So I've like heard of this region and the, I don't even know. In the Feywood, where they where they make this wine on some separate dimension, and like mm -hmm. a whatever you know, those fairies. It's made somewhere in the Fey Wild, which gives it yeah. this otherworldly taste. Yeah, yeah. I order that, and that's why I'm paying 250 GP monthly rent or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, yeah, this is a, a very nice, quiet establishment. Everyone's wearing. Uh, nice suits, buttons up with bow ties for all the waiting staff. Oh, that's what I was imagining I would I would wear. I don't think I've quite got. I haven't bought a bow tie yet, but I've got that awkward dress shirt mm -hmm. that I and I maybe I still wear it underneath the robe, but no pants. These pants are just absurd. If you got an opportunity to not wear pants, you should take it. <laughs> I got. That's why I never wore pants in high school, not a single day. Really? I I, get, I mean, are you talking about shorts? Shorts. I wore shorts. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wore shorts. 
pretty much all the time until I was. It was cool in the '90s and early 2000s to wear shorts. It's, I'm wearing shorts right now. Well, I'm sorry. I mean, I don't have legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no fur. And like, I work in a laboratory a lot of times, so like, exposed legs is a uh, yeah. generally a no-no. Got to get that safety gear. Safety gear. That's why Ryan's pants. got the the full body rubber suits at home. It's for the <laughs> office. <laughs> yeah. Um, that that toner is dangerous business. Mm -hmm. Anywho, um, what would you like to do? Uh, so I think I'd probably I'd just have one drink at this. I don't even remember the name. The red something. The red Cavern. lion. It's all the red. There's a red lion motel. Like, I think it's like a chain. Hmm. There's one like down the street. No relation red, here. No relations. This is the fantasy red lion. Yeah. And it's just an inn. There's no... I'm sorry. It's just a tavern. A tavern, no inn. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Um, so I get my directions to the Redfield estate and mm -hmm. go to scope it out. Um, yeah. You find the Redfield estate. No problem. It's got nice walls surrounding uh, very lush gardens. Ivy is growing up over the side, but it's kept trimmed back so it doesn't hang down the front so you can't really climb up it. The walls are maybe 15 feet high, which I guess makes them about the... No, it's not 15 feet. It's got to be 8 foot walls. Um, if you jump, you could probably grab the ivy at the very top of it and pull yourself over. Um, There's a gate though, right? There is a gate. <laughs> it's a a wrought iron gate to show off How, the exact the, the wealth of this wow. family is that they're making a gate out of iron. How big is the property? Mm. So you made it sound like I had to like walk along the wall to find the gate. Does it like take up a is like a whole block? Um, like, the like property? A, no, it's not super big. It's like it's an like, acre, several acres. Are there? It's an estate, so are there like like trees or livestock? Like what? What is? What kind of? Um, hold on, let me get a sense how of how big this entire town is. This is not right. This town is more than a thousand feet on a side. Um, my scale is off here. I've lost my sense of scale. Oh no. That's fine. It's not the, it's not the size of your estate that matters. It's... Oh, my scale's ruined. I have no idea how big this estate is. <laughs> Make it up. Yeah. Uh, so it's maybe 150 feet by 125 feet. Okay. Which... So it's it's like a so it's like a mansion, but it's not like a estate is generous. Like I heard estate, and I was expecting they would have like acres of vineyard and no, because this this is all within the, the walls of the city. Yeah. So, so a, a, not, a real estate would be outside the city. This is the the manor or the 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 mansion within the city. Yeah. So it's probably mostly building. Mostly right. building. A small yard. I mean, I peek in through the wrought iron gate now. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a nice fountain Art. and some mm -hmm. gardens with uh, grapes growing. And all Is there a of... footman out front? Uh, you notice that there is a servant ten, uh, trimming the lawn with a scythe. Mm -hmm. And that there is a footman, not like a soldier, not a watchman, but a yeah. like you know formal footman hanging out <laughs> by the front door. He sees you from across the yard, but makes no notice. Like looking in creepily through his gate. <laughs> um, I think we make awkward eye contact, and I walk in. Is it unlocked or locked? What is that? That that beverage was like a supernatural red color. This is the is like margarita French? that was delivered to oh, me. Oh, margaritas. Mm -hmm. Mommy Ritas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Neil doesn't like my... Yeah. Not only was it your mom joke, your mom's a librarian and she'd probably cringe at my use of the English language. Huh? Perhaps. She'd Perhaps. give you one of those sighs. Give you a look. Oh, Ryan. <sighs> so, yeah. I push the gate open and walk up to the spot. Mm -hmm. Sure. The gate swings closed behind you. And uh... look at the the lawn ornaments, maybe jump back at the sight of a gar baby cherub, have a flashback of a charging gargoyle. Mm -hmm. um, the fountain actually does have a gargoyle on top of it, a small oh. gargoyle, um, out of which water flows. Um, the footman you know, stands to attention as you approach, 
and gives you a, a bit of a bow and says, uh, Yes, Ar Archmage. It's Ar Carl from Misty Rapids. Um, Very good, sir. Oh. I would like to request an audience with uh, with the lady, Lady Red. Shield. Red Shield. <laughs> Lady Red Shield. Lady Red Dick. <laughs> Sorry, it's gonna be one of those sessions, huh? Yeah. Lady Red Shield. Um, you can tell her that I would like like to browse her library. The library is open for the public, sir. If you head down the hill towards the center of town, you should find it. It's Just right deliver the message. Uh, does this seem appropriate to tip, or would that be condescending? Maybe I should do it in either either case. Uh, I, I like to say, just deliver the message and like slap a gold coin on his <laughs> breast. He takes it and just kind of holds it in his hand, puts his hand back down at his side, and goes, Yes, sir, and where should I tell her to find you? Or that you can be found? Uh, well, how how far is she? She is indisposed at the moment. Indisposed here? You can tell her I'm in the garden, and I, like, turn to, like, go stroll the... <clears throat> he clears his voice, gives you a stiff bow, and walks in the building. Uh, so I proceed to... Maybe I just walk in right after him. Um... Do you or do you I, not? I wait, a, I wait a moment. At okay, least. the door shuts behind him when he walks okay. in. Okay. No, so I think I start by I circle the building. Okay. Um, there are like, two gardeners out front. Uh -huh. uh, one of them's out front with the scythe. In the back, there's a halfling gardener, who is do planting. They, some... Do the gardeners in the front look a Cuban? No, they do not look a Cuban. They are definitely Aridonians. Um, Aridonian. There's only one of them. The halfling in the back is planting some tomatoes. Or, you know, tending to some tomato plants. And he gives you a, a doff of his cap as you walk by. Um, Howdy doody, little fella. I say in halfling as I... Oh! Hello! I don't actually... Well, actually, maybe I will talk to this halfling. <laughs> he probably knows more about the... I say in halfling... I'm a wizard. <laughs> oh! Carl. Well, that's <coughs> wonderful to hear. Hello. My name's Boba. Boba? Boba the gardener. <clears throat> I uh, pull out a little bit of my iron powder mm -hmm. and mutter some arcane words. and He scurries that. back and like scrambles on the ground away from okay, you as you start I to cast sprinkle the iron. I, yeah, I'm just like jabba de babba just you know, uh -huh. speaking in tongues. I sprinkle the iron powder and like rub in my hair, mm -hmm. rub myself down, reducing by forty percent, fifty percent. So I'm now halfling size. How tall? Are half, you? half is a halfling, right? <laughs> I'm just under three feet tall. Okay, and halflings in this world are uh, three feet tall. So yeah, you're the same size. I'm as the a halfling. That was amazing, sir. How? Magic, right? Give him a wink. Um, do you, yeah, you work just outside in the garden, or do you sometimes go into the house? There are pots and plants, potted plants inside that need to be tended to occasionally. Of course. What's it like working for the missus? Must be so amazing to have such a collection of books around, right? Is this how I, am I, I feel like I'm not sure if I'm talking to a halfling right now or a squirrel. I'm not sure which <laughs> role playing voice I just went into. Uh, she so she has a small personal library inside, yes, but you, you'd be surprised. Most of the, it's quite small. Not not very many books at all. Just um, the things that. Come on, let me double check her age. Does she have kids? Just just what she reads to the children, or the the servants read to the children more aptly. Um, just childhood books. I think all of her real books are, are left in the library. But she is quite a, a wonder to behold. You've hardly seen a woman with more, um, how do you say the word, in, uh, gravitas. She's 
quite the creature to behold. Hmm. I'll have to keep that in mind. I look forward to my meeting with her. Hmm. Uh, is there anything I can do for you, sir? No, no, I'm just enjoying your work. I like, gesture broadly to the to the garden. He gives you like a wait right there moment and scurries over to a corner and brings you back three strawberries and places them in your hand. Oh, delicious. I had some strawberry, strawberries Shh. just earlier this week. Don't tell the missus. She wouldn't like it. I wish I had an enlarged spell to make the strawberries bigger. Okay. That's okay. I can keep a secret. Carl um, can keep a secret. You see the servant from earlier... Meaningfully to my dagger. You see the servant from earlier walking around the corner, and he calls over in common, Boba! There was a life. <laughs> I look over and I'm like <laughs> now half size like I don't oh. even get back. <laughs> he looks at you, looks back to Boba, looks back <laughs> to you and goes, "Um, Ark Carl, the uh, missus will her ladyship will see you now." Oh shit. <laughs> I don't have an I don't have an enlarged spell. Here I, I... <laughs> Here I am meeting this. How how long is it? Five rounds to level. <laughs> you can like pop a figure in the middle of the conversation. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. I could go. I could just pretend I'm a halfling. You don't quite look like a halfling. <sighs> Fuck it, Yolo. <laughs> I got. I guess I got the meeting now. Yeah. I thought it was going to be like hours, or like she wasn't going to meet me, and I'd have to. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I, yeah, I go to the front door, trying to listen to see what he was going to tell Boba before he just... Oh, no, he him. escorts you to the front door. Okay. Yeah. Um, you get the impression he was just going to ask Boba where you were, or if uh -huh. he had seen you. Um, he leads you up through the front door to the second story of the house. What's it like at three feet tall? It's got to be kind of, sh like, the stairs are probably an obstacle. And I've I've drained my strength by three from eleven to eight, so I'm you know I'm like, huffing and puffing up yeah. these stairs. <laughs> <laughs> the con is already seven, and now I'm three feet tall. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Yeah. You so know, you she that's... he takes you and leads you to the door a door at the top of the staircase, uh, which is open and kind of gestures in. You see through the door is a large desk large kind of rosewood desk out behind which sits a middle-aged woman uh, who is writing and as she finishes writing she puts down her pen and hands the sheet of paper to a slave standing next to her who she's writing you said yeah she was writing and then he puts the page on another stack of papers and begins to exit the room so what does this woman look like uh she's shorter like five two Oh, perfect. I, um, I knew I reduced myself. <laughs> uh, in her 50s, average weight. Mm -hmm. um, she wears a red shawl around her, you know, her, around her clothes. The shawl kind of comes over the shoulders. What? That's what a shawl do, I does guess. She, does she seem strike? Is she striking? Like what? what it, that sounded all pretty unremarkable. She has what, a... What about her? Do I see immediately what about her impresses the halfling so? She has a very intense kind of look to her as she shakes her eyes from the paper and comes at you. Her her brow is very down, flat. Down to me. And she has a, like, you know, <laughs> not what she expected. Yeah, Are we not, alone in the room or did the servant just leave or is he the leaving? The servant's leaving. Um, the servant that escorted you up here has stepped back about 10 paces to give you guys a room, but is hanging out nearby in case something needs to be done. Um, um, I stride in as confidently as a three foot tall man can. And I say, you know, someday we may look back and laugh at this first meeting. I have a feeling but, that will be true for at least one of uh, us. Is there a seat for me to sit in? No. No? Okay. I was I was hoping for a scene where I get to struggle to get into a human-sized chair as a, as a halfling. But... No. She leans forward on yeah. the desk and looks down at you from her seated position. Okay. Hands I look up at her. You see, my name's Carl, and I'm a leprechaun. I say with a straight face. 
No, I'm just kidding. I just thought of that now. That would have been that would have been a great St. Patrick's Day prank to play on you, Neil, huh? <laughs> would have been. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so what do you say, say that and give her enough time to like gauge the reaction? Be like, what is she gonna be like? What is she doesn't say anything or react. She keeps her you know, her hands folded and the intense look on her face at you. <laughs> I, I came to compliment your, your library. I was just there this morning, and I thought the whole thing was quite magnificent. Has she said one word to me, or have I just been rambling, this little leprechaun strolling into her, into her office on St. Patrick's Day, mm -hmm. tossing gold at all the guards? Yeah, and have I been bamboozled? Here I thought it would be me leprechaun hunting today. You, but you're no. the worst leprechaun ever. You're just <laughs> giving away your pot of gold. Oh, shit. I'll go back and hold her. All right, so she continues her intense look at you. But, I mean, I guess I'll finish up on that last thought if she just like gives me the space so after like an unnatural pause i'll throw in the uh but i noticed the distinct lack of uh tomes on the arcane and well you see we leprechauns are innately arcane creatures this offends me on a, on a personal level but perhaps not... i should write you some books Perhaps you shall. I give her a, a grin. What is your purpose here, Ark Carl, the human sorcerer from across the sea? Does it surprise you? Sea. I know or who am, you are. Or am I, uh, or am I a, a brownie from the ye old Thornwood? Does it surprise you? You know who I, you are? I know who you are? No. I know a great many things. I presume everyone else has just as rich an inner life as I. I am a busy woman. I run a or growing so heard, house. But here you are, having a conversation with a leprechaun when you're supposed to be working. Why, look at all these papers to be pushed. And I, th I think I take that opportunity to step a little closer and like actually like wiggle the papers on her. I reach out to her desk and jiggle around her papers. Or... She places your, her hand on top of yours um, with a little bit of pressure. Enough pressure that it's you know trying to prevent you from moving things. It appears I am wasting my time, then. I think our meeting is over. You say you know so many things. And, uh, I look around the room. Are there books here? There's a book sitting on her desk, but it looks more like a something she's writing in than a research book. Mm -hmm. um, are there? What are the papers like on the table? Can I see? You? How high is the desk? The desk, average desk height. A desk is probably two and a half feet tall. So your head, your chin probably comes up to it. Okay, so I can sort of see at an oblique angle the, what she's working on, right? Yeah. Go down. Yeah. She's got a little sack of pounce pounce. Next to her, that sand that you sprinkle on ink to make it dry. Uh -huh. um, and a ink well. Ink pot with a, a pen in it. Hmm. A quill in it. I can see the Archmage for the Song family is as competent as they are. Tell all your friends. And I, I give her a wink. But know that big things come in small packages. And in another dimension, why I am Colossus. Perhaps one day you'll see me on a good day. Horus, 
please show our guest out? She calls. Um. It's probably been about 15 minutes. No, you've got 25 minutes as a short person. Yeah. Okay, no, you're still pint-sized. You got my spell list off. I'm trying to find a regular spell list. No spell components. Okay, so with but an utterance, I cast blank for the first time. And I say, it's no problem, I'll see myself out. And then you blink. So, and then better to a random point. I blink at a random time in a random direction. Normally you roll d8s. And I give me a, a d10 plus one for your initiative? No, give me a 2d8. I mean, I don't think we're competing with initiative. I think this is just me. No, but I want to see if you blink the moment you cast a spell, or if it's you know you you cast so a spell, you a take D10 a few steps. Ten plus one for the casting. Uh, no, give, screw the casting time. Just give me a two d eight for the when the, it actually goes off. That's like at the is at the end. That's the end of this round, right? Yeah, it's later in the round. So you the. So I mean, I I, uh, I don't know how uh, casting time one spell. I feel like is just a few a few yeah, words. Just right? a few words and. Um, and, I shout, and I shout, no worries, I can see myself out. And I start like, walking the, towards the The servant door. comes in, starts to walk behind you, and then you blink. Does she, yeah, does she seem to have noticed that I cast a spell? Like, so as I'm saying the words and moving my hands around, does she realize what's going on, or does she... Mm, so, give me a charisma check to see if you can read I don't know if I'm trying face. to hide it or anything. I'm mostly just curious to see if she... Yeah. It's, I'm trying to gauge whether she like is this aware of spell casting. Right, right. Give me, give me a charisma check there. See if you can notice anything on her. Twenty-six. Yeah, she. You notice her eyes kind of twitch a little as you start to cast. Okay, so eight is dead ahead, right? Do, or were you rolling my d8? Oh, uh, I was gonna let you roll it. Okay, so eight is dead ahead. So I, th- so by the end of that round, I blink ten feet towards the door. So you, yeah, you Which turn and start walking towards the door. Then you blink and fall a few feet because now you're above the staircase so you blink forward and drop like two feet okay Um, i try and turn it into a graceful roll but it's a bumbling yeah bumbling exit but i still teleported 10 feet you did pretty badass and that that was all the same round so that was like i was don't worry i can see myself out and (laughs) so it happened just as i as i could have hoped Mm -hmm. and i'm out of there okay no servant necessary you make your way out um, back um, the do gardens. I see? Like, how big is this? Uh, the, the the manor. Like, do, am I able to gauge where there could be like a? And like, how, are there just like rooms and rooms that I don't see, or does it seem? Yeah, like that? you don't get like... much of a view of the house. So, in through the front door is a nice big foyer. There's a staircase that goes up the right side, and then mm-hmm. across the front. So when you're for example, if you had walked out of the that room and gone just to the right, you would have been like at a, a balcony overlooking the foyer on the first floor. Uh-huh. Um, and you could see that same hallway that runs across in front of the foyer uh, has various rooms off of it. And then in the actual foyer where you enter from the front, you can see a few doors and hallways leading out. But you don't have enough information to really see where any room could be anywhere. And any, you know, there's, there's not a lot of information to be had. Yeah. So there could be a secret library or a grape dungeon anywhere in this place. Absolutely. I can try blinking into a random room and exploring. I think I'll let that happen if it happens. I'm going to be blinking uncontrollably for... For a little while. How long does blink last? One round per level, so five rounds. So there will be five blinks. Five blinks. Do I want to just wear those out in the yard, or should I? I think I'm going to try. I've only got five. I'm going to try to get my way into a room that I'm not supposed to be in. So where did the servant? Did I blink past the servant in the first blink, or did I? Yeah, he was behind you, and then you blinked well in front of him, and then dropped down the staircase. And tumbled and rolled. Okay, so then, yeah, so then the next round I'll try. I mean, I blink in a random direction, but I'll put myself. I mean, I guess I no matter what, close enough to a wall. Okay. So the next round, I'll see if I teleport. So you go down, and then rather than going out the front door, you go near one of the other walls in the foyer? Yeah, probably like a corner, like mm-hmm. the back corner, like the 
if you're entering the far corner, but from okay. coming down the staircase, like a back corner. So that right, so you come down the staircase and then head back in. Okay. So there's like a right. one and or like a three and four chance or whatever of me blinking into a into a new space versus the rest of the way. So should we, let's should we roll initiative to see who? Yeah, give me an initiative roll. If, if he witnesses this, if so I roll a, it's a two d eight for the blink initiative. Yes. Right, and I'm not actually going to do anything this round. I don't think. I mean, so I won't roll a real initiative three. So that wow. So I go right for a corner. In fact, that's probably faster than I even get to the corner. Right. Well, you you blinked, and then you could have still moved at the end of that okay. round. Okay, so I could have ended the last round in a corner. Right. And the first thing before anyone so sees that that previous blink, round, as you head to the corner, eight you straight can hear, ahead. So I blink through the wall. You can hear the the servant calling behind you. The the exits the other way, sir. But you blink through a wall at the start of that round. <laughs> so, yeah. Ten feet through that wall. God, I hope there's nothing solid. No, there, there can't be no, anything solid. No, you can't blink at anything yeah. solid. Um, so, well, actually, I don't know if I re-roll if there's something solid or if it... Okay, hold on. Let me, let me get my mental map of this place figured out. Yeah, so I don't know which corner I went to. I went. I, I randomly... Um, I, when I you probably... went in through the front... It, from the front door, you could go to the front right corner, which would be under the staircase... That's the what front I'm with left imagining. corner. Yeah, I was imagining you under the staircase too. For some reason, I was imagining the front right. Yeah, right. So. Okay. Um, so you blink straight forward, and I was probably facing the corner. So I probably I so it's like a forty-five degree angle, ten feet. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Oh, so you, oh, so you're facing the corner. You'd blink. Yeah. Oh, okay. That definitely changes where you go. Um, yeah. So if we've got a <laughs> house like this, and here's the foyer. Da -da. Corner and you blink. So I would re I'll re-roll if that's a solid object. It is not a solid object. I'm trying to figure out which room it's it is. <laughs> yeah, because I only have a loose idea of the layout of this place. Um, <clears throat> you blink into a bedroom, a bedroom with rich purple satin sheets and blankets. <laughs> It's got a four-post bed with the you know canopy over it that drapes down on the sides. That's you know currently rolled up. Um, there's a nice desk with a, a, a nice vanity there. Uh, a tall body-length mirror that's just a polished silver. Um, this looks like it's probably her ladyship's room. You have one <laughs> minute in this room before you blink again. What do you do? I search it as best I can. Um, well, you only have a minute, so I, tell me what is it that you are looking for to search? Like, what types of things would you go after in this room? I can give you. I'm after the books, so I think the desk for the writing. I want to look and I want to scan the room and see if I see any books first of all, and then I'll go for the desk. There is a book Actually, on the side of the bed. My first thought was bed. to the satin bed, but my second thought was to the books. There is a book. Um, placed on the equivalent of the nightstand. I guess that's just I a nightstand. I go to stand. grab it. Is it the only book in the room? Um, that's the only book that you see right away. Other books might exist, but they'd be under something or in something. Um, I look at the title. Uh, it doesn't have a title. It's a or folded leather page. journal, kind of like this. Hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm thumbing through that journal. It's in my hand probably as I blink. But um, then I'll uh, then I'll look. I'll try and multitask, but I'm probably not very good at it. To like get a, to get the gist of the journal while I look for other things in the room. So maybe the journal open in one hand as I'm rummaging open doors. I'm in a panic because I know I'm about to blink in a minute. Okay, you open it. Yeah. Give me a saving throw versus spell. Oh shit! I'm I'm low on life too. I got my ass kicked by like some goblins or something last night. If, this, if I die to a fire trap right here, save versus spell. Um, I hope you pass the save because you're pass take some nineteen. Nailed it. All right, you still t you take half damage. Shit. And now she knows. Oh, well, I guess. Uh, you take four damage. Holy shit! As the, DM hacks. As the DM hacks. I'm at one HP. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you passed that save and that we round down. <sighs> Because it was nine damage divided by two. 
uh, the fire trap, ex the, the book explodes in your hands. The book is unharmed, but you are singed. The, 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 the curtain thing that hangs over it catches fire. The, everything nearby is blown back in various directions. A loud sound goes off. Yeah, <laughs> I so I like destroy her ladyship's bedroom. Correct, sort of, kind of, yeah. <laughs> Not the way I meant for that to go down. I think with that, I blink. I guess let's roll. Do I blink before or after I act? Is right? Is that it? So I roll initiative and then I roll a blink initiative. Yes. Uh, well, you can choose whether you want to act before or afterwards. But if I try to act before. Okay. This, is, this was, my, in case chat didn't notice, this is my low stakes way of testing how blink works and not when I'm in the middle of combat with a... Although I did find quite a quite an exciting surprise. Okay, so... If the blink roll is lower than his in initiative, he blinks out, then he attacks. So you do have to roll them separately. Yeah. You can choose to delay until after the blink, though. Correct. Can I roll them both at the same time separately? No. So I go I go before the blink, most likely. Mm -hmm. Just before. So I get another round of searching, probably recoiling. God, does, is all my shit blown up? Do we need to roll saves for like my robes and my... Uh, no, you passed your save, so it's all fine. Okay, all right. Um, so I, I scan, I... This book's coming with me, but I'm gonna look, I'm gonna quickly look the rest, search the rest of the room. Like I've already blown up her bed chamber. Mm -hmm. no, 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 let me read that. I've already destroyed her bed. Broke the I don't know. Never mind. I I'm gonna. I might as well. Might as well lose the place a little bit. They're gonna have trouble finding things in the carnage, right? How can I find? So what do I find in the desk before I blink away? Hold on one sec. Why are we not? I'm having trouble. Should we go to break? I, we've sort of thrown off our schedule, but I think it's about break time. Um, it would have been a lot more uh, a better cliffhanger to be like, it blows up. See you on the other side. <laughs> yeah, why don't we go to break real quick and we'll see you guys on the other side. Bye-bye. Explosions. <laughs>